Tonight, we're also celebrating Western New York with the love, the caring, and giving spirit of the people here. Three mothers who have now opened their homes to dozens of foster children decided they needed to do more to help other foster families. And when people in the community heard about their plan, it became even bigger than they ever imagined. Two on your side, Heather Lee takes us to the Foster Love Closet in Alden. There are rows of clothing racks and rounders full of hangers. Many things still have the tags on them, but this isn't your ordinary store. It's just utterly amazing that the community has donated all of this to us. Foster Love Closet collects new and gently used clothing and gives it to foster children for free. It's something that everybody in the community can jump in and say, hey, I can fold clothes or yes, I can go through my closets. I can clear out my son or daughter's things and I can donate them. They open their doors twice a week to people who have opened their hearts and homes to kids in need. Aaron Rochelle, Kara Brody and Cheryl Flick met through foster care circles. They started the FLC because they know firsthand the cost connected to fostering and how quickly kids can be placed in a home. We never know until we see the child what they come with. I've had extreme cases where they're dropped off in a diaper and a t-shirt, they come directly from the hospital. The stipends foster parents get aren't nearly enough to cover everything they need. People don't have to stress about, do, will I have the means to, to support this child? They can just come and get it for free. Parents just need to bring their placement papers and show a photo ID. At first, the women collected items at their homes to give away, but they wanted it to be more of a shopping experience. So they set up in this 2,000 square feet of donated space at Townline Lutheran Church in Alden. Foster parents are encouraged to bring their kids with them. They're so excited to see pink on the shelf or a North Face jacket or a pair of Nike shoes, um, which have all been donated from people that just want to see it to go to a good home. The kids have no control over their situation, like when or where they'll be placed. So as simple as this might seem, shopping here is a time when they finally have a say. They come in, they can make their choices, they can try things on in the dressing room. Um, there's everything from lunch bags, backpacks, hats, accessories, jewelry, hygiene products. Each child can get a week's worth of clothing and pajamas, also extras like shoes and coats. Socks and underwear are brand new. Parents can also take bedding and furniture, and each kid leaves with a brand new toy. Since they opened at the end of August, the Foster Love Closet has helped more than 100 families, and they're stocked to help plenty more. We know someone who's too Terrific. It's great that the kids have choice. They just want to fit in just like everybody else. 100%. And Heather said that even since this story has come out, more and more people are oh, getting in touch with them. So that's great. Good stuff. Yeah. Good news. All right.